Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Varma. Topic for today's session is Keyboard Shortcuts for Files and Slides. We have already discussed few of the keyboard shortcuts which are commonly used in almost all the Microsoft application programs but we are specifically and specially going to discuss some shortcuts which we are using for opening and closing the file and which we are using for performing certain operations on the slides. Let's move. Course goal is directly perform the task by using the control key. It means we are only going to discuss about the shortcuts, the shortcuts for the key combination and not the access keys. Whenever we are pressing the control key, it means we are looking for some combination of the key and by that combination we are going to perform some action, some shortcut. Then moving further, perform a variety of tasks using the keyboard from opening and closing the file to working with the files. And the next we have starting and stopping the slideshows. Key combinations. We will learn the key combination shortcuts for working with the files. Example, control plus any key. For example, if we press control plus N, it means we are looking for a new file so on we are having certain keys are being assigned to some shortcuts so we are going to learn about those shortcuts in the session key combinations for creating the files and slides we have a set of key combination that i'm going to tell you in this session first one is open the file that is control plus o o means open the file once you are going to press this combination control and o you will get a window in front of you where you can browse for the file, select it and press enter, you will get a new file opened in front of you. Then second is a new presentation. Suppose if you are already working on the PowerPoint presentation and you want to open a new a blank file, then press the combination control and N. It means you are looking for a new file, a blank file. Once you press control and N, you will get a new file opened up in your screen. You need not to browse the entire location, the file, the new file and all the stuff. Just press this combination and you will get a new file in front of you. Then second one is the new slide. If you are working on a presentation, you want to add a new slide in the presentation itself. Then press the combination control plus M. M letter is assigned to this combination because we already using the N letter for the new presentation. For the new slide, remember this is not N, we have letter M. Then if you want to duplicate a slide, then control plus D is the combination for that. You already have a slide, you have prepared the slide, enter the text, you have entered the picture, you have already prepared the slide and you want to create a copy for it, either for modifying or for changing some stuff then press control plus D D means duplicate you will be getting a duplicate slide on the presentation then if you want to close the presentation then press control plus W W means window we are closing the window so control W is the shortcut for closing the presentation next one is exit the PowerPoint if you press control plus W only only the presentation the file would be closed and not the entire software means you are still in the PowerPoint window but you don't have any any file opened in front of you so for closing the PowerPoint itself for closing the application you have to press alt plus F4 alt plus F4 is the combination for closing the software itself then you are done with the presentation you have prepared that and you want to run the slideshow instead of selecting the entire like move to the slide option and then from the beginning or so just press f5 and you will get the slideshow on your screen and the last option is that we are going to discuss today is closing slideshow if you want to end the presentation if you want to end the slideshow press escape key and you are out of the window let me show you I am pressing the escape key on my window and I will be back to the presentation view, the normal view. I have pressed the escape key and I am back here. And now as it's showing you, my cursor is on the from the beginning icon, slideshow from the beginning and the shortcut is F5. 
you just have to press F5 on the screen. I'm pressing F5 and you're back to the presentation. It's starting from the beginning and you can keep moving that with the help of the enter key. I'm pressing the escape key once again. Okay, so let's come back to the slide where uh, we have all the shortcuts written. Let me show you all of them one by one. First one is open the file control plus O. I'm pressing that combination control plus O. Now the window is open in front of me. This is the open window. You can browse the location. Suppose in the desktop. I have the lesson plan here. I have some slides here. Whatever slide, whatever file I want to open, select that and click on open. And I'll get that file. Let's close it. Okay. So the second one is the new presentation, the blank presentation. Let's press Ctrl and N. I have got the new presentation now. This is a blank presentation. I have two presentations now on the screen. One is the keyboard shortcuts that we are uh, discussing right now. And the other one is the blank presentation. This one. Just pressed Ctrl and N. These two keys together and I have got a new window. Again, close it. The name of this is presentation one, the default name and Microsoft PowerPoint is the name of the application program. Okay. If you want to add a new slide, then control M. I'm on this slide now. Let's press control and M. Let's move further to the other shortcuts that is duplicate a slide. I have this particular slide. Now I'll press control and D. And I have got two slides now with the same content. Number seven slide, key combination, and number eight slides, a slide again, key combination. You can see two same slides here. We have duplicated the stuff just by pressing Ctrl and D. Otherwise, we need to click on the slide, then right click on this, and you have to select duplicate slide. That is the alternative. Okay, let's remove this duplicate slide then the next one is close the presentation for closing the presentation the shortcut is control plus W let's press control plus W do you want to save changes you made with the keyboard shortcut for new files in this you can save the changes if you want and the file is closed now you still have the Microsoft PowerPoint window open in front of you, but there is no presentation open here. There's no file open. If you want to close this application program as well, then you have to press Alt F4. Let's press Alt and F4. Let's see what happens. Alt and F4. It's closed again. So that was the file. Let me open that once again. So that was about the key combinations and the shortcuts for working with the files and slides. I hope that would help you to work faster on your slides and on your files. Try to remember the small shortcuts and make your work faster. That was it. That was the to today's session. Thank you. Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos.